Hi, I'm Dr. Rashmi Yogesh, IVF consultant at Kushi Fertility and IVF Center, Bangalore. Today is World Osteoporosis Day and we have to understand what osteoporosis is. Osteoporosis is a condition where the bones become fragile and very susceptible to fractures. The most important reason why our bones get fragile is because of deficiency of a very important element, calcium and vitamin D in our nutrition. We know that calcium is required in the dosage of at least 500 milligrams per day for every man and woman. And what we get is about 350 milligrams of calcium from 8 ounces of milk and 450 milligrams of calcium from 8 ounces of yogurt. But a survey tells that more than 60% of men and women consume less than 8 ounces of milk and yogurt and that's why there is deficiency of calcium in the diet. Along with that, vitamin D is a very important component for better bone health and with men, lots of people staying at home indoors, not getting exposed to sunlight, there is deficiency of vitamin D. A minimum of 20 minute exposure to sunlight on a daily basis is required for proper vitamin D concentration in our system. So consumption of calcium in the diet and exposure to sunlight for about 20 minutes per day is very crucial for good bone health. There are several other factors that determine the tendency of a person to develop osteoporosis apart from calcium vitamin D. Those are genetics. Family history of osteoporosis, if your mother has had a fracture secondary to the osteoporosis, your risk of having a fracture secondary to osteoporosis is twofold. If there can be family history of conditions like rheumatoid arthritis that can also cause increased tendency to develop osteoporosis. Apart from those, lack of exercise, obesity, reduced nutritional components which supplement the proper bone health, presence of hyperthyroidism or hyperparathyroidism, presence of conditions like gastritis, duodenitis that reduce absorption of calcium and vitamin D and of course cigarette smoking, alcohol, all of these contribute to fragile bones. Women who have low ovarian reserve Women with endometriosis and secondary to endometriosis reduced ovarian reserve. People who have had their surgical removal of ovaries done or chemotherapy that has reduced the ovarian reserve, all of them have very low estrogen levels and secondary to low estrogen levels have reduced calcium. Apart from that, men who have low testosterone levels can also have reduced calcium levels. Therefore, calcium supplementation is crucial in women who have reduced ovarian reserve and men who have low testosterone levels and also of course women who have had menopause. Apart from all of those, it is a very important fact for all of us to understand that problems in the liver, problems in the kidney can also cause reduced calcium levels and therefore calcium supplementation is very important if it is not present in the diet or if there are conditions that prevent proper absorption of calcium. However, regular exercise forms a very crucial part of proper metabolic functions in a body including the calcium metabolism. Therefore, putting muscles to work on a daily basis will pump in more calcium into the system and makes our bone healthier. We know how it is when you have a fracture, not being able to move out, do all the things that you do on a routine basis. Fracture poses a lot of health risks because people who are obese and have a fracture have an increased risk of thrombosis which can sometimes be life-threatening. Therefore, it's very important that we keep our bones healthy and prevent us from developing problems and have a healthy life with healthy bones.